Gilma, one each draw here in Livingston this afternoon. Can I get your reaction to that, please? Yeah, overall, actually quite pleased. You know, I thought we actually played well uh, when it was 11 You know, I think uh, we didn't start the second half. Probably the only real catch from the second half. You know, a couple of wee opportunities we switched off. Uh, they got a weak in as a deflected cross come in. Uh, and they got the goal and then I thought the response was really good after that. You know, I thought it was a fantastic goal. Uh, I thought Seb, I made a couple of changes today. You know, I see Seb is very similar. So hopefully we can see it like, he's a wee bit like Dom. He has that wee bit of flair and wee bit of ability. And, you know, I thought the three pass from Jack Thompson was superb and got us back in the game. Uh, and obviously then sending off, you know, uh, and then it was basically a character. You know, and I thought the lads showed a ton of it and they've showed it all year. You know, sometimes you get with spirit and you get with togetherness and I definitely think I've got that at the moment. I think the group I've got working with me, you know, they all want to do well, they all want to win, so uh, really pleased with the, the point in the end. And you touched on the reaction to going a goal behind it. That's something we've saw a few times, probably something that you don't want to have to see, but you see yeah. there's a real character there. The heads don't go down when we go behind, particularly somewhere like this where it's a difficult venue to come. Yeah, they're a really good team, Livingston. You know, I think they've only been beaten once you know, this season, so I think they are a very good team, some really good experienced players. You know, so, uh, you know, to do that, the heads quite easily dropped. They had a lot of young boys in the yeah. team today, Rocco uh, and Seb, obviously. I don't know if Rocco start, but I think, you know, these young lads are, are wanting to impress. They've, Rocco's worked unbelievably hard, you know, off on the training pitch, you know, I've seen it. Uh, and Seb's obviously know the players, so great to get them involved. They didn't let it bother them, they kept going. Uh, you know, and the point was, as you said, I think the point was a, a fair result. The red card, obviously, in the second half leaves us playing that last half hour or so. And with the extra work, what, what was your view on that? Yeah, I think it's a difficult one. You'll see if it's foot's raised, he doesn't, he doesn't know the man's there. He's trying to control it over his head. You know, unfortunately, he catches him. I think he does catch him slightly on the top of the head. You know, as one knows, it, sometimes it's given, sometimes it's not. And today, you know, I, I wasn't sure. I thought he was going to give a yellow because uh, it wasn't really dangerous. It wasn't at speed. It wasn't, you know, forcing it. But again, he made the decision. Uh, we've just got to go on with it. And you couldn't have asked for a, a better response from the team in that final 25, 30 minutes of normal time and what felt like an eternity. Uh, a stoppage time. Yeah, Marco kept saying to me, "There's five minutes left," and then five minutes later he said, "There's four minutes left." You know, so it's a long, it's a long uh, five minutes extra time there. Uh, you know, I think we, I think we had a goal. Uh, I think Dane's obviously a great header. You know, I think it was, you know, really tight decision. Another day that might have gone for us. You know, uh, so again, that those little things when you're down to ten men, how do you see a game yeah. out? I think it's a learning curve for them. Uh, some of them don't know what to do. For me, it's little channel balls. Sometimes we gave it away to needlessly. We're trying to still score, and certain times it was not on to score. So little things we can learn from, you know. Uh, but I'll go away happy from the Morton game, and then the game uh, today. You know, I think uh, overall, actually this week, uh, we've actually been it's been pretty good. Unfortunately, not to get a result against Partick, uh, but we'll move on. Some nervy moments at the end, but to a man, the back line and the rest of the team really stood up and was counted. Yeah, definitely. I think uh, you always talk about the two set halves and the goalie. I thought all the back four, the whole unit itself. I think you talk about that, and obviously, I thought Tiz, you know, I thought was was excellent. You know, at the back defending his box. You know, he gets in good positions. He reads the game really well. Him and Dane, you know, forming a really good partnership. So all, all pleasing. Uh, Cal pulled off, I think, a save right, right at the death there. So. You know, we needed everybody to get the result. I said that. We needed the subs, as we did on Wednesday, Tuesday night, and we got that. And four points from six after that disappointment of last Saturday. Probably couldn't have asked for, for much more coming away from home for two very difficult ties. Yeah, you're right. I think, obviously, the game's part at home. Tough tie. Martin away is tough tie, and coming here is really tough. So, you know, I'm really happy with that. So, uh, we can move on. Picked up another point. Uh, sometimes they are vital. Uh, so, again, we, we keep... Getting that attitude of not wanting to get beat and that kind of sort of belief that we, we can stick together and we can get results within us. So, yep, we're pleased, we'll move on to next week. Any focus immediately turns straight on you, Dunfermline at Hamden next Saturday? Yeah, definitely. Uh, it's one of those you, you have a wee break, I'll have a wee break tonight, you know. Uh, I'll, I'll set up wee things tomorrow and then we'll, we'll crack on. Thanks for your time, Callum. Cheers, Sean, thank you.